Let's see John's worst fear. So we put on this movie and the movie is based on a true story. Yeah. That's one of the things that makes it scarier. It's set in the back country, it's a Canadian movie. And it's about two hikers, a couple, they go off into the woods and get lost. And they discover that they're being stalked by a bear, that there are bears in the area. And that doesn't seem like a great horror movie. Mm -hmm. Bears are so much scarier than demons or dinosaurs or whatever because they're real. Mm -hmm. And it's based on a true story. And so there are some scenes of bear attacks that I wish that I had not seen when because I can't unsee them now. Bears okay. don't give a One of the main goals of civilization is to get to a point where you're not easily reached by predators, and then we offer ourselves up to them again. Man is so foolhardy. That's terrifying, I can't see anything. A polar bear coming out of the water there can cover this distance in like two and a half seconds. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. So during the night we'll be doing polar bear watches. So I'll stay up to a certain point, and then you guys have to do the rest of them through the night. And the easiest way to do it is two hour shifts. The polar bears here can come from every direction. You can walk along the coast up to the camp here. It can come swimming from the ocean uh, in all directions. And it can come down from the mountainside here if it's crossing from another area. You can't really see anything, it's too dark. Even with the flashlight, you can't really see much. So you start listening and trying to figure out what a polar bear would sound like if it was approaching on land or through the water, it sounds like that. It sounds like that wave and every other wave. When you're pretty much alone in the dark, everything looks like the thing you're looking for and everything sounds like it. So the thing that I keep thinking about is around that bend over there where the tracks came from, how long would it take a polar bear walking at its normal speed to go from not visible to in our camp. You can't see it without the flashlight, but you can't have the flashlight on all the time. And so you do it every couple of minutes. But what if you turned off the flashlight just as it rounded the bend? You don't want to be the one that's responsible for a polar bear walking right into the camp. Okay, sorry. Little animal. <laughs> no, 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 this is instantly my favorite special of all time. Okay, <laughs> I love that so much. We got it now. I think every video is going to be awesome. $250 for early John videos, tyt.com slash go. Okay, now uh, this one, my favorite moment was when the Norwegian dude or whatever was like, um, you know, polar bears can come in any direction, and John's like, <laughs> <laughs> you see his head immediately swivel in all directions. Mm -hmm. So that's from True North, which members have access to. So hit the join button below, that's the premium level, okay? You guys are gonna love True North and their goody goody little thing. What was that, was that a wolf? What was, it was that? An, it was an Arctic fox. Oh my <gasps> God, saw a few. stop it. Yeah, it was very cute. It was cute. so cute though. Very, or very are, cute. Do they do anything like? Predatory to humans? Like, did they mess no, with you guys at all? No, that one, like, sort of, that bit that you just saw of me in the dark watching for polar bears was two hours long. We condensed it down, but it was two hours in the darkness. Um, so he, like, slowly came closer. At, at first, I only saw the flashlight reflecting off of his eyes, like, 100 yards away, and I swore to God it was a polar bear. <laughs> like, it sounds ridiculous because it's really small. But it's you can't. It was more pitch black than you're imagining. You literally could not see anything unless the flashlight was on it. And I thought that was the bear. But he slowly came forward, and then he sort of skulked about. He was looking for food. They're kind of like scavengers a little bit, but they're cute. They're cute. Oh. Okay. No, no. They're John. our friends. They are. John. They're friends. <laughs> okay. That Arctic fox. The fact that you thought it was a polar bear just made my life. It. Uh, you would have thought the same, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. How is that a polar bear? How is that a polar bear? That's no, but like, but it's dark, Jank. No, I, I co-signed to everything I don't you're mean saying, John. Close. Because you're, yeah, because it's dark and you just see a set of eyes reflecting. Yeah, you see glinting right? like, off of feral eyes off in the distance along the, the water. 
It's all you see. Hold on, let me let me ask the hard hitting questions that the audience really wants to know. Did you ever cuddle with one of these Arctic foxes? For no, warmth? I didn't cuddle. This one wouldn't come that close, but I did feed a different Arctic fox at one of the ghost towns we went to. I fed him like little bits of meat kind of out of my hand. Like he came up close enough to eat the meat. Aww. He was a he was a cute one. He was like a bluish black. He was very beautiful. Hey, I kind of want to live there. Like there's no one else there, just cute Arctic foxes. <laughs> you don't have to really bears. like run into anyone. <laughs> Yeah, you bear. John, if I had known that video was that good, I, I, I'd have I'd have said ten thousand dollars to see that video. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I know it's all in fun, but and now you know that was like two and a half years ago, so I don't care anymore. But that was that was the scariest experience of my entire life okay. by far. So, so so wait 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 one one quick thing I gotta add. I don't know why you were so afraid of bears because you certainly looked like one. Um, you know, with that beard and everything, like you just <laughs> camouflaged into the environment. It was totally fine. <laughs> I thought I was the one that looked like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a different kind of bear, right? <laughs> look, look at that beard! Look at that beard! <laughs> My hair was getting pretty long then too at the, at that point, but it was yeah. freezing. We were right next to a glacier. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.